Uh, first and foremost, extremely uh, grateful. 12,000 fans for a Division II team uh, is uh, amazing. Just shows you how great our fan base is. Very, very appreciative of them. Um, you know, I was worried about the, the you know, after Christmas, five days off, all those little things. And then True, uh, sick, held him out. Donovan, thigh contusion, held him out. Hopefully they'll both be back for practice tomorrow. Uh, but it was a good opportunity for guys who uh, haven't gotten minutes to go play. Braden took advantage of it. Obviously getting mashed back in the fold uh, was great. I didn't anticipate playing him 26 minutes, but with Donovan out, he was kind of that backup point for a little bit of it. Uh, so pulled away in the first half there, built that lead and held on to it, so it was great. Um, 12-1, and one, obviously very, very good non-conference. Now we got some great opportunities in front of us. How do you assess um, Mash's return in terms of how everyone else responded to him as much as how he kind of had to shake off some rust? Yeah, I mean, I didn't think he'd make a lot of shots, right? Uh, you know, I, I wanted to play him about 15 to 20 minutes, but when Donovan went through shoot around and wasn't 100%, we held him out. So that gave Mash the opportunity to play a little bit more. What I told the team was this. There's a couple of things about our team. We only have three returners from last year. Doesn't, that's not making excuses about our team. I think we could be really, really good. But we, we've we had so many in injuries, different teams, different lineups, all those things. we got to embrace these opportunities that when we play together that we're getting to know each other a little bit in their games a little bit. Um, and so that we're just continuing to build this chemistry part of it. Um, so every opportunity you can to huddle and to pick each other up or guy falls on the ground, you're going to pick him up or at halftime, like – now that MASH is back and hopefully we get healthy, that's going to grow organically amongst the team. And I don't know if we've had that just yet because of all the guys in and out. Uh, but I thought he looked good. You know, I didn't think he was taking bad shots by any means. I just thought he was a little bit fatigued and was going to miss some. I wanted to play him a little less and really have three great practices. But looking back on it, I think it was valuable for him to play in there and to get those game reps. Coach, uh Try to put yourself in the shoes of another coach you might be scouting with where they probably know Mash, they know Hounds from last year, but they don't really know what this entire team looks like together because they haven't been played a single game yet. How hard is that for an opposing coach to prepare for you guys when they haven't seen the whole package yet? Well, I think everybody holds um, a couple things in their back pocket uh, in the non conference, you know, um, for the most part. I, I think for us, with so many of elements that and every team deals with them, but Nelly getting here late, Mashing House missing a lot of time, Isaac missing a lot of time, Donovan out. <clears throat> it's been hard to really see how good we can truly be. Um, I worked on some zone today. I haven't played much of that. That was good to look at. Mustafa played the five. I hadn't done that much. That was good to look at. Braden played the two. Um, you know, so we have not had many practices where we've had everybody. So it's been hard to truly, truly gauge what it, what it is we got. But that's also very normal. Um, going into Colorado State, phenomenal team, uh, consistent program, consistent winner. So we've got we've got to work ahead of us for the next three days. Nelly, and then as Mash, something similar. I mean, if you want to book in the two non-conference, the start and the end, Nelly had just been here about a week when you guys started the season. And um, from where he was then to basically his double-double was done by halftime. He had four steals. And uh, he ends up with 13 points and 16 rebounds. And like I said, most of that's in the first half. The way he looked in that first half tonight, drawing seven fouls, compared to where he started, is, yeah. is, is he even farther along in some ways than you thought? Maybe? No, I mean, that's what I thought we'd get. Now, he looks like Shaquille O'Neal at the foul line. Um, you know, he's got to get better there. He, I thought he played great except for the free throws. Um, you know, he, he, he even missed some rebounds. I told him, be, be selfish with rebounds. Um, we need that what we had with Mo, where we can kind of calm the game down, throw it in there a little bit, draw fouls, like you said. Uh, we have to have that. Um, and I thought he was really, really comfortable down there. Defensively, I mean, he's getting four or five steals in games. I, bigs don't normally do that. Uh, so, yeah, I think we thought we got a good one in him. Uh, it was unfortunate that he didn't get here till late, but he start, he, he's really moving in the right direction for sure. You're about to start season two, basically, of going into conference play. How do you feel about where the team is? Good. I mean, I think, again, it's it's um, to go 12-1, and one, uh, great. 
especially with all the injuries that we've dealt with um, and just so much uncertainty with the roster every day, day in and day out. We haven't had a lot of time to work together. Um, but we know now competition's really, really going to pick up. And um, I hope we're ready for it. You know, I mean, I hope they're, they're eager for that challenge. We need, as I said before, we have three returners from last year's team. Those three need to be the voices. They need to be the guys in the locker room that know we've, you know, they've been there before and continuing to build this chemistry. So, you know, I, I hate to think this way, but when we lost to St. Mary's, I told our staff we got to run the table this non-conference. Looking back at the schedule and everything, if you're sitting at top 40 in the net, top 40 in Ken Palm, I think you've done your job. But now, obviously, it gets, it gets real. We've asked you this before um, about Isaac and Schiller, but you guys were up 20 to 19 with 740 to go in the first half, and that's when he checked in. Yeah, you guys ended up 23-4. Yeah, plus 17, whatever that was, yep. He, um, <laughs> he, he didn't do everything, obviously, but he seemed to settle a lot of it down. He had some rebounds, some steals. Yeah, it's just amazing. He does that. He's like a plus-minus king, you know, and he had four rebounds. He's always kind of around the ball. Um, he just He's one of those guys who just kind of gets it done. Um, so that stretch there, he always seems to be in there when we're going on runs. At New Mexico State was another one. So I don't know what it is that he does, but he's always around a loose ball. He's always around an extra possession uh, right there. So, And we kind of saw that on film. He was kind of that guy that kind of makes things happen. Uh, well, one about them. Um, obviously, they're a Division Two team. It, it, it is what it is when you guys play a Division Two team. It's not a you can't really win, right? Um, even if if they had played you close, people would jump on you if you beat them like you did tonight. People don't give you much credit, but it's a pretty good team. They're off to a good start, and they jumped on you pretty early. What can you say about how they kind of came out and, and uh, you know they didn't back down early? That's for sure. Yeah, I mean, I, they were what eight and two coming into this game. I was talking to a coach before. I mean. He's building something really good. They've got good talent. You know, they've got some good players. So I, I didn't – I approached this game very, very similar to everything else. I thought that this team had put up a lot of points. They had several games of over 100 points. So we thought they'd have some good firepower. They also had some good size. I mean, their bigs were tall. Um, so I thought we'd get their best shot. Anytime you play these teams uh, – I, I know fans don't love Division twos as a part of the economics of this whole thing. Um, but – I thought we got a lot out of it, and I think uh, credit to Eastern New Mexico for doing that.